It's exactly 30 minutes after 6. We're checking out what the newspapers are reporting today. Some of the newspapers are massy, and this has been captured by myjoyonline.com. We'll check out the front page headlines. The daily graphic is what we're starting with. I'm still at post, says Afoko. So the suspended national chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Paul Afoko, says he is still very much at post. Okay. Uh, we know that Kweku Bako has said if he still feels in charge, he should call for a neck meeting, and then we would know. FDA confiscates adulterated palm oil from 10 Accra markets. Story says the large quantities of adulterated palm oil have been confiscated by the Food and Drugs Authority from 10 major markets in Accra and Tema. Details of this issue is here uh, on the AM show later this morning. So stay with me. We're going to break it down. It's very scary, isn't it? Because we all use palm oil. Uh, four robbery victims die in a bizarre accident. This story we brought to you in our AM news as well. Daily Guide newspaper, Anas, a uh, new video pops up. So lawyers representing some court clerks uh, indicated in the Anas Aramayao Anas judicial bribery and corruption scandal were confronted with new videos showing their clients allegedly receiving bribes. That's good. NDC chases Nana over corruption. Uh, story says that the governing National Democratic Congress has conducted a series of secret investigations into the political life of Nana Adedankwe Kufuado, aimed at indicting the new Patriotic Party presidential candidate for corruption. The final newspaper says... Power barge sales uh, Tuesday expected in Ghana in 10 days. So the first power barge to produce 225 megawatts of electricity to alleviate the rolling power cuts. Kristen Dumso is expected uh, to... Okay, so arrive in Ghana on Tuesday after a brief commissioning ceremony. Uh, for a lot of us, still doesn't mean anything. We want to see the problem resolved and we can't believe in it. Uh, because what's happening right now, we, apart from the fact that they say technical problems, we don't really know exactly what it is. And the situation has intensified. So we don't even have hope that the budgets will do anything for us. Our focus to appeal suspension. Uh, this story says that embattled chairman of the NPP, Paul Afoko, has indicated that he would resort to an appropriate party structure in his quest to set aside a decision by the National Executive Council, which led to his suspension last Friday. I tell you what, we have his lawyer on the show this morning. The BNFT, Business and Financial Times, Coco Board, LBC's tussle over directive. Story says that some... Cocoa licensed to buy in companies have called on the Ghana Cocoa Board, the industry regulator, to reconsider uh, a decision to accept seed fund guarantees from only universal banks. TechPep plots Eurobond return after issuing a $1 billion Eurobond at a coupon rate of 10.75% this month. Finance Minister said TechPep has confirmed that government will issue another $500 million when conditions in the market become favorable all right so these are the stories that we have in some of the newspapers uh, you'll go to the newsstands if you're interested in reading any of the stories in details and grab the paper but let's check out some more stories and this is from myjoyonline.com is it Fred okay boycott EC forum on register that's what Gabby Asari Ochri uh, is saying as the title of this article okay so this is an article uh, it means that I can't read even a bit for you you can go on the website and and try and understand why he's calling for a boycott uh, but let's check out this other story uh, from CTFM Online. Okay, respect next decision on Afoko. That's what Nana Ekofuado is saying. A bit of it for you. It says that the flag bearer of the opposition, NPP, Nana Ekofuado, has called on party members to respect the decision of the National Executive Committee on the indefinite suspension of National Chairman of the Party, Paul Afoko. In a statement released uh, on Monday, Nanado said, Quote, the appropriate organs of the party have acted. I am therefore calling on all lawyer members of the party to respect the decision of NEC and the constitution of the party, which provides channels for redressing grievances. This is interesting uh, because remember when this decision was taken, he was out of the country. I'm not sure if he's back, uh, but him commenting on the issue means a lot. Another person who's been very much talking, and he's actually written a four-page piece 
on what's happening in the NPP now is Tarzan, Dr. Charles Rekobobi. Very much uh, interesting reading that piece. will bring you uh, bits and pieces of it on the show this morning as well. Okay, let's do uh, some BBC African story. Ivory Coast holds first post-war presidential poll. Uh, Ivory Coast is holding a bitterly contested presidential election, the first since the Civil War ended in 2011. The poll has been marred by uh, prominent opposition candidate pulling out, citing widespread irregular irregularities. President uh, Alassane Ouattara is running for a second term in the world's largest cocoa producer. Some 3,000 people were killed in the conflict which ended uh, with Mr. Ouattara coming in power in 2011. The conflict broke out after former President Laurent Gbagbo refused to accept Mr. Ouattara's victory in the 2010 election. Mr. Gbagbo was subsequently arrested and is due to stand trial next month at the International Criminal Court where he denies war crime charges. Okay, so this is very much interesting that the whole of Africa indeed is keeping an eye on what happens in Ivory Coast. We can only wish them a peaceful uh, elections. But that's it for the stories that we're bringing to you from other news portals as well. You can always visit the website. But it's also good to know what you're thinking. So you can always log on to facebook.com for a slide join news on TV and contribute very much to our conversations on the show today. Stay with us. Lots of action in England yesterday. The match talked about Manchester City, Manchester United. That ended 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. But there was so uh, many other things coming out as well. Remember uh, Swansea and Aston Villa, the IUs were in action. It was interesting. Both scoring. But in the end, my favorite, his side won the game. We've got details of that coming your way here on the AM show. Please do stay with us.